American managers use several accepted techniques to get workers to produce quality. There's only one thing wrong with those techniques. They don't work. My blunt colleague is Punk the Penguin. G'day, mates. I'm Lloyd Dobbins, and this is another part of the Deming Library, a series of cassettes designed to teach the quality production methods of Dr. W. Edwards Deming. He has endorsed the series and contributes to it. What's up today? I think you'll like this. It's the red bead experiment that Dr. Deming teaches in his seminars. From the audience, he gets six willing workers, two inspectors, a chief inspector, and a recorder to keep production records. What do they do? They manufacture beads, white ones, not red ones. That's all? Yes, but the people inevitably get caught up in the game. OK, let's see it. In a second. The red bead experiment takes two hours. We've shortened it considerably, but the points to be made remain the same. Dr. Deming's role is that of the typical American plant foreman using accepted management techniques. Do you understand that continuation of your job depends on your own performance? Yes, sir. So long as you make enough white beads, you'll have jobs. If costs start overrunning revenue, management will close the place down. In other words, your jobs are dependent on your own performance. Have I made it clear, do you think? Think you understand? I'll explain the job. Material comes in in the form of a mixture of white and red beads. Your job is to produce white beads. Is that clear? White beads, not red ones. 